So, uh, movie making, um, functionality of image pro. It's not a new feature. That feature existed uh, for a long time, but maybe some of you are not familiar with that. And uh, I will show you how easy to make uh, 3D animations. So, I'll load one of the existing demo images uh, from Image Pro demo images folder, 3D measurement, uh, neuron and 3D. And when I load it, um, we'll get a 3D stack of uh, neurons with some other surfaces created by guided segmentation. I want to use this um, image as an example to show how to create uh, uh, animations. So, <coughs> uh, animations can be created when we have any 3D view. Uh, so, before you create animation, <coughs> we should have all the elements which we are going to use in animation. So, before creating an animation, you should think uh, what they want to show uh, and um, uh, if you want to show slices, you have to create slices beforehand and if you want to show either surfaces, you should create either surface beforehand elements and then place them in the right order and um, uh, think about all the steps uh, for animation. <coughs> Just know that uh, if you have all the slice after either surface, this all the slice doesn't cut through either surface. If you have all the slice above either surface, this all the slice will cut uh, either surface as well. So, uh, so you th should think uh, on the position of the elements and uh, the number of the elements in your thing. So. What I will do, I will try to make animation that would include fly-through uh, path and then uh, some uh, slice of the uh, either surface revealing uh, our uh, uh, slice of the volume revealing our either surface. So before creating animation, I want to set the parameters, which I think would be the best for my image. I reduced transparency. Also creating animation, I would recommend increase number of slices in the composition to maximum, so you get the highest quality image. And uh, I would also use pseudo-surface, which would uh, enhance uh, neurons uh, definitions. So, <coughs> the animation um, in uh, Image Pro is created based on keyframes uh, principle. So, what we need to do, we just add keyframes to the animation and the program interpolates uh, all the parameters between frames uh, to make smooth transitions from one keyframe to another keyframe. Traditions are uh, we include everything, so it could be just uh, position, camera position transitions, or it could be transition of slices, it could be transitions in transparency, it could be transition in uh, opaque levels of the palette, everything can be animated. So, um, I will start from this view, and, uh, oh, let me make this XY view as a starting point. So, um, we position image like this and we uh, activate 3D animation tab and say that this is our first camera position. We click add camera position so you see the first keyframe uh, has been added and by default we have eight intermediate uh, frames. So, to the next transition, every uh, would, would, uh, eight frames would be added between two key frames. The number can be changed and it can be changed globally. I'll uh, show it later. But uh, default eight frames could be good to create uh, initial 
animation. Uh, then we can, for example, change position and maybe zoom in and add another keyframe. That would create a keyframe number two. On the next step, uh, I want to show uh, uh, either surface and the frame. Uh, and uh, and uh, ortho slides, and I want to start from this point. So I add this keyframe with either surface and uh, ortho slides on top. I don't want to have any transition between uh, showing the volume and showing the either surface. So I reduce number of keyframes, uh, number of intermediate frames between these two keyframes. To one, so I just simply grab, and click and drag. So these two frames will change immediately. On the next step, I want to move uh, slice down, revealing either surface. Uh, at the same time, I can, for example, make it uh, tilt a little, and I add another keyframe. So uh, when it's created, we may uh, create animation flying in a little bit just to get closer to neurons. We click this animation. And um, then we can, uh, for example, move out and create the last frame. So when we have a uh, connect, start, and end uh, checkbox on, uh, the last frame will be connected to the first frame, so uh, creating a smooth transition. And uh, that would help creating a loop animation, so you can uh, play this animation in uh, media player uh, in uh, inf infinite loops, so you can uh, use it on a show or somewhere else. So now we have um, six keyframes in our animation, and um, let's see how it works. We can uh, go to the first frame, and we can go through frames one by one to see how they look. Or we can uh, play from the beginning. So that would be our animation which we have just created. And uh, at this stage, uh, if we think uh, that uh, everything looks good, we can generate a movie and then uh, save it to MP4 file. Uh, but before, uh, there are, I want to show you some other options which could be useful uh, creating animations. Uh, first of all, it's the number of frames. Number of frames, we used default eight frames uh, transition between keyframes and uh, with frame rate of 10 frames per second, it's uh, less than a second. So uh, we have like six second animation. So you can see it at, at the bottom of the animation panel, you can see it's 4.1 seconds. This is our full animation. We can increase number of intermediate frames, making animation longer. So it will create smooth animations between frames. And, <coughs> uh, and another option, uh, we can uh, change uh, animation size. If use text image size is off, uh, the animation created using the uh, actual size of 3D window. If you want to use, for example, full HD animation, so we can just simply type 1920 by uh, 1080, and it will create um, a full HD animation which you can play uh, on a full HD screen with high quality. 
but uh, for the simplicity sake I will switch it off and try to create animation with uh, the current size. So to create animation with the current size we simply click the move it button and now the program will create our new animation with 81 frames using all the traditions we just recorded. So now we are flying in, going up, and now we return into the initial position uh, based on this uh, connect start and frame. Here we have a animation file just created. This is just a sequence of 81 frames. We can play it through in the uh, humor as it is. And we can save it uh, to an animation file. By default it will be um, mp4 file. You can also use uh, WMV format or AVI format. I recommend uh, AP4, uh, MP, MPEG4 file as it uh, produces movies with uh, good quality and uh, small file size. So I can simply I add some suffix to and now we have animation. I want to just show you the location where we save the animation. This is a size. This is a file. It's uh, 6 megabyte. When we double click, we can play this file in the movie uh, player. And yeah, when you have this uh, repeat on, so the, we have an uh, infinite uh, animation played in the viewer. And uh, that was a quick tutorial for how to create animations in, in each prompt.